In this lecture, we are going to learn about ng content element of Angular. Here I am in the Angular eCard project. There, let's go to source folder. Let's go to app folder. And here, let's open this app component. So here I will open the app component.html file. In here, we are using three components the top header component, app header component, and app container component. So, so far we have seen that whenever we use a component selector, in place of that selector, the view template of that component gets rendered. Right. So here in place of this element, this top header element, this top header here is a selector. So in place of this selector, the view template of top header component will be rendered. So this is what we have learned so far. And here we are able to use the selector of a component like an HTML element. But in HTML element, so whenever we use an HTML element, let's say for example, paragraph element, in between these elements, we can also write some content, something like this. And in the web page, this paragraph will be rendered with this content. So this is how the HTML elements work. But what will happen if we try to specify some content within the selector of components? For example, let's say I specify some content within this top header element. So this top header is a selector. We are using it like an HTML element. So inside this, if I specify some content, for example, something like this. Okay, if I save the changes here, let's see what happens in the web page. So if I go to the web page, you see, we don't see anything in the top header. So nothing is happening. This content, this has not been rendered in the web page. And this is the default behavior. Whenever you specify something in between the opening and closing component selector, like we are doing here, that will not get rendered in the web page. This is the default behavior. But sometimes we might want to specify some content and we might want to render it in the web page. So, how can we do that? That's what we are going to learn in this lecture. Let's close this app component.html file and let's go to this container component and let's go to container component.html. So here we are displaying the search component. We are displaying the product list component. We are displaying the product details component. After displaying this product details component, I'm going to add a div here. And on this div, I'll specify a CSS class. Let's call this CSS class eCard featured products. And then inside this, I'll create another div. Here also, let me go ahead and add a CSS class. Let's call it eCard featured products heading and in there I'm going to add one h1 element and there I want to show this heading latest arrival in popular brands now in order to style this div and this div I have already written some CSS so let's go ahead and let's grab that let's copy it from here let's go to VS code and let's go to container component.css and let's paste it there with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And if I scroll down, there you will see that that div has been displayed. There we have set the background color to gray. And in there we are saying latest arrivals in popular brands. And here, now I want to show three cards for different brands. And to display those cards also, I have already written some HTML. So let me go ahead and let me grab that HTML from here. And let's go to container component.html. And after this div, I'm going to paste it. Okay. And again, in order to design this, I have written some CSS. So let's grab that CSS from here. Let's go to VS Code and I'll paste it in container component.css. Save the changes. And here, let's go back here. And here I'm saying new arrivals in Nike. Here, let's say new arrival in Adidas. And here, let's say new arrival in Reebok. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And this is how it will look. So these are the three cards which we want to display. Okay, now if I go back to VS Code, there you will notice that for those three cards, we are actually repeating this HTML three times. So instead of repeating these HTML three times, we have learned that we can reuse a piece of HTML code by creating a component. Right. 
So here what I will do is I'll go ahead and I will create a new component for that. Let me open a new terminal. So currently we are in the Angular eCart folder. From here, let's move to source and then app from the app folder. We want to move to container folder. And inside this container folder, we want to generate a component for that. Let's say ng generate and we want to generate a component and let's call this component featured brands. Okay, let's press enter. So that featured brands component should be created here. This featured brands folder has been created in there. All the files related to that featured brands component should be created. And from there, let's again go ahead and let's remove this spec.ts file. We don't need it for now. Let's go to featured brands component.ts and there let's change the selected to maybe featured brands. Okay. And let's now go to featured brands component.html. Currently we have only one paragraph element here, but I'll go to container component.html. From there, I will copy this div. I will paste it in featured brands component.html. Let's save it. Let me also close this terminal from here. Okay. And now in the container component.html, instead of using this div, what we can do is we can use the selector of this featured branch component. So let me copy this feature branch selector from here. Let's go ahead and let's paste it here. Okay. And we want to display this feature branch three times. So instead of displaying these divs here, let me remove it from here and let me paste this featured branch two more time. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And you will notice that component has been displayed three times. Now you won't see the styles here. That's because the styles we have pasted inside container component.css. Right. So here I'm going to copy these three CSS styles. I'll cut it from here. Let's go to featured brand component.css and in there, let's paste it. Again, let's go back to the web page. And once the page is reload, now you can see that those three cards are displayed here. Now, the problem here is in all these three cards, we are seeing the same heading, same paragraph and the same button. Because essentially here, let me close this file. Let me also close this CSS file. Okay, so essentially, when we are using this featured brands here, it is going to render this HTML in that place. So it is going to render this HTML three times because we are calling this feature brands component three times. But when we are calling this feature brand component three times, there, when this HTML will be rendered, in there, we want to have a different H3 content and we want to have a different button content. Now, how can we achieve this? For that, we can use ng content. So what we are going to do here is we want to have different H3 elements for each of these featured branch component. So inside this featured branch component, what I will do is I will copy this H3 element. So let me copy it from here and let me paste it here. Now we learned that when we use some content inside the component selector, it will not get rendered in the web page. But if we want to render it in the web page, then here, let me close this file also, this TS file. So here we want to render this H3 element. From here, let's remove this H3 element. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And now you will see that that header is not being displayed for these components because as we have learned, by default, the content which we write inside the component selector that does not get rendered in the web page. But if we want to render some content in the web page, which we are specifying within the opening and closing component selector, in that case, here in the template, so for example, we want to render this H3 element before this paragraph element. There, we can use ng content. Okay. Now, in place of this ng content, whatever you type between the component class selector that will be rendered here, 
we are specifying this h3 element within the component class selector so this h3 element will be rendered in place of this ng content okay currently we are specifying it only for the first component if i go to the web page you see for the first component that s3 element has been rendered if i go back and if i use this s3 element in other two components also and they will say new arrival in adidas and here also let me paste it and here let's say new arrival in reebok if i save the changes if we go to the web page you see here it says new arrival in Nike, new arrival in Adidas and new arrival in Reebok. So whatever we type within the opening and closing component selector, in this case we are specifying an S3 element, that will replace this ng content which we have used in the view template. So in the view template of featured brands component, we are specifying this ng content and the value for this ng content we are passing from the parent component where we are using that component so we are using this featured brands component in the parent component in the container component so the container component here is the parent component so we are specifying the value which should replace this ng content from the parent component so in the parent component we are specifying that this h3 element should replace ng content in the child component I hope it is clear and this is called as content projection here we are projecting this content from the parent component in the child component in place of this ng content okay so keep in mind that content projection is a way to pass the html content from the parent component to the child component all right now here for this button we are simply saying learn more so if you go to the web page for all these three button elements it says learn more but here instead of displaying learn more what we want to display is we want to display a button for each of these three cards and there it should say show new arrivals in nike here it should say show new arrivals in adidas and here it should say show new arrivals in reebok so what we are going to do is we'll copy this button element from here let me cut it from here and again i'll go ahead and I will paste it within the opening and closing component selector like this and here I will say show new arrivals in Nike okay let me copy this button element from here and I'll paste it in other two components also and here I will change it to Adidas and let me paste it here as well and there I will say show new arrivals in Reebok with this if i save the changes so now what will happen is this h3 element and this button element this will be rendered in place of this ng content so let's actually see that so if i save the changes if we go back to the web page you will see that that header element and the button element that has been rendered in place of ng content and after that only we are seeing this paragraph so in the view template also first we have this ng content and after that ng content we have this paragraph so in place of this ng content this h3 element and this button element is being rendered but what we want is we want to show this button element after this paragraph element okay we don't want to show it just before the paragraph element first we want to show the header then we want to show the paragraph and then only we want to show the button element let's see how we can do that to do that let's first try to use another ng content after this paragraph so let me copy this one from here and let's paste it here and if i save the changes if you go back to the web page now you will notice that the header and the button element has been moved after the paragraph so first the paragraph is being displayed and then the header and the button element is being displayed that's because here what is happening is when we have multiple ng contents like this in that case the last ng content will be replaced with the content which we are projecting from the parent component in this case we are projecting this s3 element and this button element so this content will replace the last ng content and other ng contents in that template that will be ignored so that's what is happening here but here what we wanted is 
in place of this ng content we want to display this h3 element okay and in place of this ng content we want to display this button element how we can achieve that to achieve that on the ng content we can use an attribute called select and here we can select an element which we want to render in place of this ng content based on some selector so if i go back here if you notice here this h3 element and this button element both of them has a class so for the h3 element the class is title and for the button element the class is call to action so we can use this css class name as the selector okay so here we can say select equals in place of this ng content we want to display this h3 element so we'll specify the class of that h3 element which is title here and since the selector here is a css class first we need to use dot and then we need to specify the css class name in the same way let's also use the select attribute here and here also we will use the class of this button element as the selector so the class name is call to action let me copy this let's go here and here let's say dot and then the class name so now if we save the changes if you go to the web page you will see that now in place of first ng content the s3 element is being rendered and in place of second ng content that button element is being rendered so here we are projecting the content based on some selector all right now here if you notice the styles on this button element are not applied that's because since we have moved this button element to this container component here we are defining this button element inside this container component so we need to get the css of that button element this call to action button so i'll copy it from here and i'll paste it in the css of container component dot css here and then from this featured brand component dot css i'll also copy this css style okay and i'll paste it inside the container component dot css before this one and from here i will remove this description this description class we are using on the paragraph in the featured brand component so if i go to this featured brand component there we are using this description class on this paragraph element but now we have removed the h3 element and the button element from here from the featured brand component we have moved it to container component.html they will see that for the h3 element the class is title and for the button element the class is called to action so for these two classes what i wanted is i wanted to set some margin so that's what i am doing here if you save the changes now and if you go to the web page now it looks okay and it is displaying the featured brands so in this lecture we learned how we can project a content from the parent component to child component using ng content this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day